vulnerable. I just found out today that this plugin also causes Firefox to crash continually. So if you want to enable or disable any plugins, you can click on it. See? Here I have it disabled. I'm going to disable this right now. There you go. Done. If I want to enable any plugin later on, I can click enable. Some plugins give me the option to uninstall them, but do not uninstall them unless you are sure what you are doing, and Google it if you are not sure for that plugin. So the Windows presentation, presentation foundation flow is to connect your server to your, your computer to uh, the server that your browser is trying to reach. Very vulnerable. I would not advise you having this to run, but that's just my opinion for my research. Also, there's another extension here that has been pushed by Microsoft onto um, Firefox, which is very bad. It's the Microsoft Net Framework Assistant 1.1 adds one click, one support, and ability to report install Net Framework versions to the web server. Well, I have this disabled. I have no need for this. Well, I have no issue with my browser. I have no issue with, with, with uh, surfing the web. I have no issue with Justin. No issue whatsoever. It's something that, J that, that uh, I can push onto Firefox. So be careful what add-ins that you allow sometimes concerning your Windows systems. Just check it occasionally. Um, you have themes. You have plugins. And I'll give you the links for those two plugins just to check out for yourself and uh, just to verify what I am saying. Um, the link here is, well, I will do that I will do that right after this presentation. I'll put the links in there. You can check it out for yourself. But I'll, I'll advise those two plugins not to be used, just for security reasons. They're not really needed. They're not necessary. Um, so here you can, you can like, for example, you can stay on a web page. You can drag that URL of that site and drag it down and drop it to your index bar and make little shortcuts like I have done with JTV. My channel, Major Geeks. Um, you know, you can do the add-ons. You can add Google Toolbar, Yahoo Toolbar. So many add-ons and themes. So, um, is there anything else I want to say? No, I advise add-ons. I advise AdBlock Plus. Um, for example, down here, I have the add-on for uh, my local weather, which is phenomenal. It's a great little weather system, which is an add-on Firefox. I love it. So you can just play around, search, and check, and use that on the search bar. Um, yeah, uh, Firefox is, does support um, all Windows, uh, uh, Mac OS, Linux, Solaris, including Microsoft Windows 7, and the same as with Windows Vista. So, uh, you know, check it out. But some people have had issues with Firefox. I personally have not. But like I said, I think a lot of the issues is based on what plugins or what plugins you have installed on your Firefox, which calls it calls the crashes. Um, so I, I, I have found out that if you have any plugins for DIVX Web Player or DIVX Player, the plugins for them for the Firefox browser, because of the new 3.5 Firefox updated browser, you might have a bunch of crashes with that. So be aware of that. So if there's anything anyone else, oh, I, I want to talk about privacy here, privacy, one last thing. Under tools, <coughs> you can click the option to start privacy browsing. Now, I did an experiment and ran um, private browsing. Um, like what Cyber said, it's not 100% um, uh, secure, but it's 50% better like he had previously mentioned about another browser for private browsing, but it will not store, you know, cookies and uh, history on your hard drive. I have to, I did do an experiment on that. Um, people were concerned when I mentioned private browsing to them that it will interfere with sites that require you to accept cookies or third-party cookies for that site to work, um, including JTV. I have no issues with that. It just, it uses cookies, but it doesn't save with your hard drive. And it will save you on temp folders and unnecessary um, cookie files or even tracking cookie files to track your movements. So, I mean, give it a shot. I tried it and I was very happy with it. And when I used my uh, CC Cleaner or other cleaning tools to check, 
my hard drive, due to my hard drive. Um, there was a lot less there, a lot less items left over from my surfing with Firefox. And it might even help to prevent shockwave flash cookies, so I'm not sure about that. But So that's about it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so if there's anything any I should add, please someone let me know. I will uh, stop. Um, I will stop this desktop and I will put two links in for you quickly. Um, anything else anyone wants to add here? Okay. Uh, well, you know, no, we're not going to drop from Firefox. I'm quite happy with our presentation. Uh, we did have a few technical hitches, friends, but uh, it was due to uh, an internet connection disconnecting on the, our host, and that's beyond his control. Uh, we do apologise about the, the sound quality, but we will work on it. So we do appreciate uh, a feedback. Uh, that's why we have a bulletin posted every night by our good friend Jess, and we do. Uh, we do need a feedback, friends, on uh, the quality of the stream, uh, what your suggestions could be, how we can uh, introduce new topics, how we can improve it. So please add uh, PC Kermon One's room to your favourites, and you will receive uh, an email whenever we start the broadcast, and you'll also be able to read the buttons. Okay. Can you go back to you there, PC Kermon? Um uh, you'll have to basically go back to uh, the desktop. How do I do that? One second. Then um, normally it would minimize for. Oh, I see. I see. I hold it. I see. I see. I see. I see. Um. Nope. Um. Uh, okay. Stop. Just stop sharing it. Stop. Okay. That's not it. Right. Right. Thank you. Okay. Just bear with us a second, friends. I will put two links in the room. Um, they're just technical links, but they will help you concerning the two plugins that I do not advise from Microsoft that and has been put there without not our knowledge. Um, and also, at times with the new Firefox 3.5, you will get an annoying screen that might pop up to make you aware if you have an outdated Abode Flash Player installed. And they have improved Microsoft security issues with pop-up warnings um, with the uh, 3.5.5 and up. Um, however, I do not choose to do that. I personally like to update update my uh, Flash plugins for Firefox personally, manually myself, so that's your choice. But you will see more pop up screens notifying you about either add ons now that are not compatible with Firefox, or um, you, if your Flash player's plugin is out of date. So that's a new thing with the new updated Firefox to be aware of. Okay, so any other questions, friends? Uh, if not, we're going to close the room down for tonight. Uh, please add our room as a favourite and uh, also I would like to ask you also to support the rest of our moderators who also have their own rooms for buy and uh, as we are one big uh, family of friends uh, we're both does a lot of broadcasting uh, Jess is going to be starting uh, a quiz night I think uh, Uh, apps uh, broadcasters, I believe, now and again too. And we also have a good friend, Gil Jarbright, which is KGRC Company. And uh, Cyber Saucer also broadcasters on Justin TV. So, personally speaking, uh, at the weekends when I'm not broadcasting, because we won't be broadcasting on Saturday or Sunday, we take the weekend off, so that'll give me the opportunity to go to my uh, moderator's rooms too and give them a bit of support too.